Greetings and uh, welcome to the new antenna from um, Antennas UK, UK Antennas. It's an NFED antenna. I'm going to uh, put it up, but first we'll have a look and see what's in the box. Never used an NFED antenna before. It's an 80 meter half wave antenna and it's got a uh, 49 to 1 ballon in it. So yeah, let's have a look in the box. Nicely wrapped, came on first class post track. Good, good packaging, as you can see. So, so business card. That's the supplier of the antenna. And, uh, this is the ballon. Look it up. Nice piece of aluminium. So a good substantial piece of aluminium. Three millimeter thickness I'd say. And uh, that's nicely prepped. Some nice stainless U-bolts. And then the actual units. Yeah, it looks like a nice insulated box. With a decent connection out, well coupled for strain, and then that's the, the input and drain off point as well. So, this will be interesting. And then we've got the, the cable, which is a typical cable, and we've got the end insulation dog bone, and that's a Halfway for 80 meters will work on 40, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10. So we're going to just uh, follow this first, which is the uh, Q code. We can scan that and have a quick look at the, the instructions that are online. So that was pretty good. I've downloaded the PDF with all the information regarding the uh, installation of this uh, antenna and a couple of other antennas made by the manufacturer so yeah that's pretty cool stuff I'm just running 200 watts into a NFED wire and I'm getting you about 4x5 four 4x5 five, four five. sounding good uh, no problem whatsoever quiet band and uh, nice to make the contact tonight there over So that's the vertical hustler with radials. Go back to the the NFED. Dipole. NFED. And vertical. NFED. So this is the early morning 80 meter DX that I usually catch up with. That's the uh, new antenna, the NFED. And that's the dipole. I've made plenty of got contacts on the dipole. So yeah, I can hear John coming through quite nicely on the uh, long wire. I'm hearing him on the vertical and I'm hearing him on the dipole. Worked him quite a few times already on the dipole, so the next mission is to try and uh, see if we can get contact on 80 on the uh, NFED long wire. So it's, it's still grey line, early morning DX, I'm in zero YKS, so when the uh, light comes up, we'll take a look at the antenna installation. So so this is where I put it, I put it on the uh, steel stake, which has got a copper rod braided into the earth, and uh, that then goes up to the tree, so it, it shoots up and you can see it up in the top of the tree there 
then follows the line to the house. A bit of a closer look. Back up this way and terminates at the top of that bracket just there and then the strange bit as you can see it is folded back with a, a, a string tie to that bracket and then it doubles back and ends at the top of that pole quite a weird way of uh, terminating it I tried it in a straight line but it didn't seem to work. I ran it parallel with the 80 metre dipole, but this was a much better configuration, and uh, the results so far have been pretty cool. That's the 80 metre dipole. I took the 40 metre legs off, it was a 40 80 fan dipole, windy day to day. And that terminates up there and goes to the far telegraph pole in the distance, and then that runs all the way down to the bottom. The strange thing about this one, this end fed wire, is how it folds back but it seems to work really well folding back. You can see the two wires there. So like I said I tried it parallel with the 80 meter dipole, same, a little slightly higher and it didn't seem to work as well as the, as the dipole when I had the 40 meter legs on it as well. I uh, since then rerouted it and folded it back slightly and it's working much better with a uh, much lower SWR. The initial SWR when it was in a straight line was about 2 and uh, now it's uh, folded back, I've got it to 1.2 on all the bands so quite impressive SWR rigging. So yeah I'm feeling pretty good, a bit of fresh air, does the world of good. Very windy out there, it's gale force so uh, it's been up for a couple of days and it seems to be holding up okay on that installation. I'm quite impressed with the performance of the uh, end-fed wire. It's the 80 meter half wave end-fed, around about 130 feet long roughly and um, equivalent to 39 meters in length and that is up at around about 25-30 feet so I'm quite impressed with just how well it works. It seems to be equally as good if not better than the dipole. I think on a par it's, it's slightly better in, in certain situations so very quiet reception on 40 meters uh, amazing it's uh, a, wa a full wavelength just about on 40 meters and it seems to be pretty good across the higher ends of the band which I, i've got a beam for that so it's not really for that so the only reason why i'm trying it is because i just love to try to receive those lower level uh, signals which i was showing you on 80 meters earlier generally get a better signal but it was a little bit uh, into the daylight, the grey line. So yeah, good stuff. It seems to be pulling in really nice with very little noise level. That is the noticeable difference, the level of noise. It's uh, practically zero on 40 and on 80 it's down to about an S1. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Um, I'll let you a quick look at the uh, G signals coming in right now and and I've already made quite a few good contacts into G on it already. Okay, a few stations. I've got Mike 7, Golf November, Romeo. Good morning, Barry. You're 5 and 10, 5 and 10. Mike 0. Mike 0, Yankee Kilo Sugar. Yeah, Roger, Dave, thanks very much. I've got you about five and five at the moment. Nice to get you on from the bunker. Thank you, and 73, Merry Christmas. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo, Sierra. Yeah, good uh, morning Ian, we've definitely worked before. My name's Simon, I'm uh, in Bailden near Bradford and I got a good 5x9 off you Ian. Uh, G0 VGS M0 YKS and nice to hear you today and uh, wishing you a Merry Christmas 
cracking signal, audio sounding superb, over. Well, thank you very much, Simon, uh, from G0VGF. Um, uh, yeah, uh, all the best for Christmas, with the sun over there, and for the new year. Uh, let's hope for some, uh, some better conditions. Um, I'm at home today, um, not out in the field. Um, so uh, it's, uh, it's nice to be working from radio. Um, and I'm on a, a transceiver to me, um, a Hermes Light uh, SDR, and um, running about 60 watts uh, into a trap dipole. Um, so, uh, so that's the setup here, it's just a cheap USB microphone, but the, uh, the audio tailoring in this software is amazing. And, uh, and it seems to be working very well. Uh, I can't get more than 60 watts at the moment because the, uh, the radio itself is nominally 5 watts and uh, it's uh, about 3.5 watts uh, SSB and, uh, and that's uh, driving my amp to 60. Uh, so I probably need to get another little amp just to act as an exciter. Uh, but I seem to be doing okay, at least into G, on, uh, on my uh, 60 watts. Uh, so I'm happy enough. And you're 5 and 9 plus 15 to 20 dB, Simon. M0 YKS G0 VGS. Put the uh, full wave uh, 40, I think half wave N pad 80, put that up. And uh, it seems to be doing okay. I've got the vertical to compare it to. Uh, and I've got the, uh, the dipole. Uh, so I've just been switching around. Uh, and seeing which uh, does the job and I'm pretty amazed how well this MPEG's working. Uh, G0 VGS M0 YKS 200 watts from the FTDX 101 and uh, like I say this new um, um, full wave 40 or half wave 80 MPEG over. Yeah, from G0 VGS. Um, I'm, I'm really interested. About, first of all, yes, I fully remember now, and I do, uh, on the Amateur Radio Group, I do follow you uh, on, uh, on there. Um, so, yeah, I will see it when it comes up. Uh, he's going to feed it up a 12-metre spider pole and then horizontal, so it, it will have both elements. So it'll be very interesting to see how well he does. Because up to now he's just got the DS Commander, which is a great aerial, but it's not really any use for NTG. Um, so having the MFED half-wave will help. But of course, it, an MFED half-wave doesn't need a counterpoise, um, but other bands may. So it, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how, uh, how it does. Um, but you're sounding great on 40 meters, so I wonder if you've got a counterpoise in there or whether you're just uh, feeding it um, as an uh, embed half wave and, uh, and away you go. But it, it's certainly working for you from G0VGS. Yeah. yeah, brilliant Ian, thanks very much, I'm very pleased to hear it. It's actually a UK antenna bought an uh, antenna, so the same manufacturer. Came packed really well, um, excellent packing, quick service and really well constructed. Uh, it's the 80 metre one, uh, so it's about 39 metres in length and I've currently got it attached uh, to a short pole hammered in the ground with a couple of copper rods then hammered further down uh, clamped to the U uh, clamp so it's uh, to the air side of the antenna. Uh, no counterpoise as such, uh, so it's got a good copper connection ground uh, and then uh, it's, it's about probably about 4 feet off the ground and then it goes up vertically to a, a tree of about 25, 30 feet. And then it goes across to the house uh, to a bracket which used to hold, hold another antenna uh, up about 30 feet. And then, it, and then I've dropped it back down about 10 feet and then dog-legged it back. So yeah, nice signals. So I'm going to let you go uh, and uh, all that for Christmas and the New Year. Yeah, thanks very much. I'll take a look and it's been a real pleasure catching up with you, both of you there. Have a good one and uh, 73 to anyone listening, M0YKS. Bye-bye. Yeah, 73 and uh, a very good morning uh, to you again, uh, Stephen. Um, I, uh, I suspect it's been a little bit on the breeze. So yeah, that's obviously been, working uh, on um, 40 metres. Uh, works on 80, I've tried it on 80. So quite impressive with it so far. I'm running out of power now to talk, so uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a good time and catch you again soon. So the, the UK antenna video for the NFED 80 meter half wave, pretty cool. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, seems to be performing well. Surprisingly didn't work as well in a straight line. Uh, seems to be better folded slightly. 
so good report so far no doubt we'll be doing plenty more in the near future thanks for watching have a good one